Hi everyone, we are looking at topical revision 2. This is on whole numbers 3. Question 1. Find the product of 709 and 32. So this is quite straightforward. 709 times 32. So we do it digit by digit. So 2 times 9 is 18. 2 times 0 is 0. Plus 1 is 1. 2 times 7 is 14. Alright, so now let me change the different color. So now we are going to do the digit 3. So 3 times 9, oh wait, before that we put a 0. So 3 times 9 is 27. So the carry will go up here. 3 times 0 is 0, plus 2 is 2. 3 times 7 is 21. So when I add them all up, I will get my answer. So 8 plus 0 is 8, one plus, uh, 7 plus 1 is 8, 4 plus 2 is 6, 2, 2. So my, my answer is 2, 2, 6, 8, 8. Question 2, divide 9, 0, 1, 2 by 7. So we always start with the biggest place first. So 9 divided by 7 is 1. So 1 times 7 is 7. I minus off, I will get 2. I pull down the 0 next. So 20 divided by 7 is 2, because 2 times 7 is 14. 3 times 7 is 21, so that's too big. So 20 minus 14 is 6. I pull down the 1, so now I have 61. Six. So 61 divided by 7 will give me 8. 8 times 7 is 56. Minus off, I will be left with 5. So finally pull down the 2. So 52 divided by 7 is 7, because 7 times 7 is 49. So when you minus it off, you will get 3 as a remainder. So my answer will be 1, 2, 8, 7. Remainder 3. Now, question 3. 2116 times 60 equals what times 10? So we need to solve this first. So let's solve 2116 times 60. Now, I'm not going to show you the working, right? but if you solved it, you will get 126960. So actually what you do is two, take 2116 times 6 first. You will get 12696. And then you add the 0 in, you will get this. So this is equal to this times 10. So what times 10 will give me this? Well, basically, it's the one without the 0. So 1, 2, 6, 9, 6. So my answer is 1, 2, 6, 9, 6. Now let's look at question 4. A number when divided by 6 has a quotient of 12. Okay, so now, what is a quotient? So when we divide, I divide by 6. So this is where the 6 is. Quotient is this part here. Okay, so my this is my quotient, all right? The answer, and I have a remainder of five. So I have a quotient of twelve. I have a remainder of five. So what I'm looking for is this number. So in another way of looking at it, is what divide by six will give me twelve remainder five. Okay, so that's how you can look at this question. So now, how you do it is you do it backwards. When you instead of dividing, I multiply. So twelve times six is equal to seventy-two. But I have my remainder, so I need to add my remainder back. Seventy-two plus five equals seventy-seven. All right. So actually, this is how you should check for un whether your answer is correct when you do dividing. So my answer is seventy-seven. Now, how do you check? You check by dividing it again. You take 77, divide by 6, you work it out, you should get 12, remainder 5. If you get 12, remainder 5, that means 77 is the correct answer. Cool? Now question 5. John and Peter shared 1,500. Peter had 4 times. Right, so let me highlight some of the keywords. He has four times as much money as John. So they both shared 1,000, 
500. So what I'm what am I looking for? I'm looking for John. All right. So let's draw model because I have a four times. So this is a comparison uh, type question. So I've got John. Uh, no, wait. Let me do Peter first. So Peter had four times as much as John. So whatever John has, so let's say John has one unit, Peter will have the same thing but four times. All right, so one unit, two units, three units, four units. So Peter four times that of John. Now they both receive 1,500. So I'm looking for John. Okay, so how many units are there all together? Five units will give me 1,500. So then, I find one unit, which is 1,500 divided by 5, and that will give me 300. So one unit is what I'm looking for, because John is just one unit, and so my answer is 300. Okay? Now let's look at question 6. Today is Friday. So today is Friday. So let's let's draw the calendar. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So today is Friday. What will it be in 100 days time? Now some of you will then start to count one to today, right? Then one day, two days, three days. Now, but that is going to be very slow because the number is big. It's hundred. Okay, it's going to be very, very tedious and almost impossible to do it. Now, what you should remember: today is Friday. Next week is seven days later. The following Friday is fourteen days later. Do you see a pattern? Yeah, so this is multiples of 7. So let's see how many multiples of 7 do I have in 100. So I think 100 divided by 7. And that will give me somewhere close to 98. Sorry, not 98. 100 divided by 7. That will give me a 14. Oopsie. 14 remainder 2. Alright, so what is 14 times 7? That will give me 98. So which means that the 98th day, if I continue listing, the 98th day is a multiple of 7. Alright, so the 98th day is also a Friday, and 99 will be Saturday, and 100 will be Sunday. So that's how you do it. You do it multiples of 7. Because one week has seven days. Question seven. Supermarket mark, uh, apples are sold in packets of four. So now sometimes you may need to draw to visualize. So I have one packet. I've got apples. So I have four apples in each packet. Each packet costs $2. So one packet is $2. So the price tag. One packet is $2. So what is the maximum number of apples I can buy with $24? So if I have $24, how many $2 do I have? So I take 24 divided by 2, that is 12. So I can buy 12 packets. How many apples altogether? 12 times 4 will give me 48. Bingo. Right, question 8. A book and three magazines cost $23. Okay, so let's highlight some of the keywords. One book, three magazines, twenty-three dollars. What kind of what problem is this? Yeah, repeater identity. Book costs three dollars more than each magazine. How much does the book cost? So let's draw a model. So like I said, when it comes to repeater identity, you should always look at um don't look at the the three magazines or one book first. Let's look at each item. So one book one magazine. So one book costs three dollars more than each magazine. So let's draw it out. So one book. Oops, sorry. One book costs three dollars more than a magazine. So whatever the magazine have. So if magazine is one unit, 
my book will be one unit plus three dollars okay so three dollar book three dollars more than magazine how many books do I have I have one book how many magazines do I have I have three so let me duplicate or copy and paste such that I have three magazines so now and I know that the total is twenty three dollars okay so I got one book and three magazines total cost twenty three dollars so what am I looking for I'm looking for the book so I'm looking for my book okay so what do I have so I have one two three four units but I have this extra three dollars that is not one unit it's not any units so what do I first do I first get rid of it so 23 minus three dollars that will give me twenty dollars okay so without the three dollars so that means that four units is twenty dollars and then I can find one unit which is twenty dollars divided by four that will give me five dollars and so what am I looking for I'm looking for book so book is one unit plus this three dollars don't forget okay so the book is five dollars which is one unit plus the three dollars and that will give me a grand total of eight dollars so that is my answer eight dollars okay last question Kelvin and Victor have the same amount of money at first okay so at first they both have the same amount so that's something very important now Kelvin spent $48 so Kelvin spent $48 so that means he doesn't have $48 now Victor received $12 so this is what we call the transfer then after that or before and after there's another way of looking at this problem Victor had four times as much money as Kelvin how much money does each of them have at first so what I want is at first each of them at first they have the same amount so so long you find one you know the other so let's try and draw the model so we need a before model and an after model because something happens so before what happened before Kelvin Victor same amount okay so let's draw their bars the same now after what happened now after Kelvin spent for eight dollars and Victor received twelve dollars now Victor Victor now has four times so whatever Kelvin has Victor has one two three four so which means one unit two units three units four units but Kelvin has one unit now how did I arrive at this I arrived at this because Kelvin spent forty-eight dollars okay so initially they had a certain amount of money and Victor received so there is Victor's bar oops I draw it upside down but Victor's bar Victor's bar increased by a bit because he received twelve dollars so this four units initially it's less than four units but increase a little bit so let me draw that increase a little bit so this increase a little bit is my twelve dollars so this was the starting point this is the before line okay so before because they had the same amount of money right so let me draw this okay now then so what happens to this part here the one that dropped away this part here where did this go ah this was the forty eight dollars that Kelvin spent so this part here is forty eight dollars because he spent alright so let's take a look again huh? see Kelvin spent forty eight dollars so initially he had so much he spent zoop, all the way down left with this one unit Victor on the other hand received twelve dollars so he initially had less zoop, but now he got more so now because of that Victor has four units because four times as much as Kelvin so looking at the model what can you notice this 48 and this 12 all together is this three units can you see that let me highlight this for you this one two three units in it consists of 48 and it consists of 12 ah. so if I take 48 dollars plus 12 dollars and that will give me 60 dollars this is actually 
how many units? Three units. So three units, sixty dollars. One unit will be sixty divided by three, and that will give me twenty bucks. So what am I looking for? I want how much they have at first. So after that, Kelvin has one dollar. Oh, sorry, not one dollar. One unit. He spent the forty-eight. So at first, it's one unit plus this forty-eight. See, this might be four line. So if I want at first, I take forty-eight plus my twenty dollars, which is the one unit, and all in all, I get sixty-eight dollars. So this is how much they spend at first. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask.